Hello fellow traders, welcome to another tutorial video of Tradition Algo. This video is going to be very short, yet very informative. One of the common requirements for the traders who are using any expert advisor or indicator on MetaTrader Terminal is to get push notifications and emails to their phone and mail address. Though MetaTrader has an alert feature as well, but it is not possible to check MetaTrader every time. That's why these two options provide more flexibility compared to the first one. But remember your EA or indicator should have the option to send push notifications and email alerts inside it. Now let's assume that our indicator has that option. Then what is the next step? Don't worry. I will guide you step by step through the process of configuring these two features. First, I will show the process for MetaTrader 4. Then I will quickly go through the MetaTrader 5 terminal as well. It is exactly a similar process to MetaTrader 4. So we don't have to worry about that. First, let's configure notification. For that, I will quickly open the MT4 terminal. Then I will quickly navigate to the Tools menu on the toolbar. Next, I select the options from the menu items. As you can see, there is a checkbox called Enable Push Notifications. If I click on the checkbox, it enables one more checkbox, which is Notify of Trade Transactions. If we click on this checkbox as well, then for each of the executed trade information on this terminal will be sent as a push notification to your mobile. The next field is a text box that asks for your MetaQuotes ID. Now you might be wondering where to get this ID. Don't worry, you can find this ID from the MQL website. First, go to Google and type MQL5. Let me open the website. On the corner, there is a create account option. If you already have signed up, then click on the login link. As I have already an account here, I will click on the login link. Then I will log in with my ID. Next, we have to go to the profile section. Then we have to go to settings. You will find a section called MetaQuotes ID. In this section, we can configure both MT4 and MT5 push notification IDs. As you can see, I have already two IDs. One is for MT4 and another for MT5. For you, it might be blank. Don't worry, you can find it very easily from your installed MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5 mobile app. You can download it from the Google Play Store or Apple App Store. Let me show you where you can find this ID in the app. I am currently in my MetaTrader 4 app. I will click on the menu in the left top corner of the screen, then let me click on settings. If I scroll down to messages, I can find my ID here. You can simply add this ID to your MQL5 security page. A quick note before we rush to the demo. If you want MT4 or MT5 terminals connected to specific networks that would only be able to send notifications then, there is a checkbox on the security page. Authorize from allowed static IP addresses only. If you click on that, it will ask for the IP addresses of those networks. It's time to see some action. I have already mentioned the MetaQuotes 4 ID in the MT4 text box. Now I will switch to the MT4 terminal once again and copy and paste the same ID here. Let me quickly hit the test button. As you can see, I got a push notification in the mobile app. It is time to configure the email. To configure email inside MetaTrader, again, we have to go to Tools. Then, similarly, we will open Options. Now, just after the Notification tab, there is an Email tab. Let me select it. By default, it is not enabled. When you click on the Enable checkbox, it will ask for a couple of information from you. It asks you a mail server details. You can either purchase a mail server from any service provider and put the details here. You might be wondering if there is a free option to get emails. The good news is yes, we can configure our Gmail server to get mail notifications. I'm guiding you step by step on how you can get your free SMTP server from Google. First, click on the profile icon in Google Chrome, then click on Manage Your Google Account. Then in the search box, type app passwords.
Now here you can see my screen has two records, one for MT4 and another for MT5. For you, it would be blank. Let me create a new one, which I will configure in the MT4. I will name it as MT42. It will give you one password. Please copy this text somewhere inside your PC. It would be required when you set up a new MT4 or MT5 terminal. Let us get back to our MT4 terminal now. In the SMTP server field, I will put the smtp.gmail.com 587. Next on the SMTP login field, I will mention my email ID. In the SMTP password, we will copy and paste the random text we have generated on our Google security page. Here we go. Now the next two fields are the email from where the email should be triggered and to which address. This time also I will set my email ID to these fields. It's time to see our final magic. If I click on the test now, then I should be receiving an email in my Gmail account. Let me click on OK now. From now onwards, you should be receiving all push notifications and emails. Now it's time to configure the same for MetaTrader 5. You might be thinking again it would be a different process. Then I must tell you that it is the same process that we just followed for MT4. The only difference is to get the MetaQuotes ID from the MetaTrader 5 mobile app and put it inside the MetaQuotes ID box for MT5 on the MQL website. Next, copy the ID into the same place where we did it for MT4 while configuring push notification. For email, the process is exactly similar. Thank you and I will see you in my next video.